Cotton had lost their last two games at the Valley and were clearly anxious not to make it three in a row. They pretty well dominated the first half, but Swindon defended in numbers and made it very difficult for Charlton to score. David White came closest of all, but not close enough. The goal-scoring chances continued to come and go in the second half, and it was really only a matter of time before Charlton took the lead. Eventually, the ball did go in. Carl Lieburn scored after 58 minutes. Swindon then had a goal disallowed because the ref thought Scott Leach put the ball in with his hand. Another time, Charlton might have been made to pay for missing so many chances, but this time they got away with it. On 79 minutes, David White scored to make it 2-0, and that was the way it stayed. Perhaps this is the start of better things for Alan Kerbishley's team. Charlton 2, Swindon 0, the final score. And uh, to be fair, I think we deser obviously deserved it. I know Steve's side was uh, depleted, but you've got to go and win the game. And they defended great in the first half and got bodies in the way. But I think once we scored, you know, we went on to win it quite comfortable. You can make all excuses in the world. We had the whole back four that were, didn't play today, um, but it wasn't good enough. We still, we didn't. They, they deserve to win, and I can't even uh, argue argue about it. I think I've got to take a bit of credit for. David's goal today because you know we had so many set plays and we was getting flick ons and touches and uh, he wasn't in the right place and we said to him at half time you know get yourself in and around the keeper it may just pop down for you and that's exactly.